One of my issues with Chrome OS is that you can't remotely log into it without having someone on the Chromebook allowing the connection. So if I'm at my work office, I cannot log into my Chromebook at home in case I need to work on it. This is usually not a problem because Chrome OS is an OS that works great with the cloud. So whatever you do in Chrome OS should be available in the cloud. However, that is not the case if you install Linux on Chrome OS. If you need something that you worked on in Linux, you have to remember to move it onto the cloud or you're out of luck. I have not found a way to remotely access Chrome OS as a whole without user interaction, but you can set up your Chrome OS Linux installation to be accessible remotely. Here's how. The simple way of explaining how this works is that you have to install a Linux desktop on your Chrome OS Linux install and then also set up Chrome Remote Desktop on it. Lightweight desktops such as LXDE and XFCE will work well for this purpose. Note that these instructions are for x86 Chromebooks. If you have an ARM-based Chromebook, these instructions may not work and I don't have an ARM Chromebook to test this with. You can quickly see if you have an ARM Chromebook by opening up the Linux terminal and typing LSCPU. If in the architecture section you see something other than x86 64, then you have an ARM Chromebook, and this might not work. So, if you have an x86 Chromebook, let's begin. Bring up a Linux terminal and type one of these commands. For the LXDE desktop, type sudo apt get install LXDE. This is what I'll be installing, but if you prefer XFCE, then type sudo apt get install XFCE4. You're not only limited to these desktops, if you have another desktop you want to install, you can try those too, but keep the desktop's performance in mind. I'm using LXDE because from what I read, it is lighter than XFCE, but XFCE does have more features. Just install whatever you prefer. During the LXDE desktop install, you will be asked to enter your language, and you will also be asked which users you want in the net dev group. Make sure you select your Linux account or you will have issues later on. If you forget to do this, we can manually add the user after the install is finished. Once the desktop is installed, we need to set up Chrome Remote Desktop, and for that to work, we need to install the Linux version of Chrome. It has to be Chrome because I could not get this working with Chromium. Yes, we will be using Chrome on Chrome OS to download Chrome and install it in Linux. So open up a Chrome browser and go to www.google.com forward slash Chrome. Click on download Chrome. On the window that pops up, click on the link that says full list of supported operating systems. You'll see a list of downloads. Click on the Linux link. In the radio buttons that show up, select the 64-bit.dev download, and then click on accept and install to begin downloading. When the download is done, go to the location where you downloaded the file to. Here we have the downloaded file. Right click on the file and click on install with Linux beta. Click install again and the installation will begin. When the install finishes, it is time to set up Chrome Remote Desktop. Bring up the app launcher and go to the Linux folder. Installing the desktop will add a lot of Linux applications. Just scroll through these apps until you reach the Chrome icon. Then click on that icon to open Chrome. Now navigate to remotedesktop.google.com. On this screen, click on Access My Computer to the top right and log into your Google account. After logging in, you get this screen. Click on this blue download button. On the window that pops up, you want to install the remote desktop extension, so click on Add to Chrome. Then click on Add Extension. Now close the extension's homepage. And in the remote desktop homepage, there is now a new icon named Accept and Install. Click on it. Confirm the installation up here and a new file will download. The downloaded file might be opened automatically, but just close this window if this happens. 
we will now need to install the downloaded file. I'll bring up the files app and go to the folder where the downloaded file is. Since we downloaded this through the Linux version of Chrome and not the Chrome OS version, the file will be in the downloads folder located in the Linux files area. In there, you will see a file like this that has Chrome Remote Desktop in its name. Install it like we did the previous file. So right click it and then click install with Linux beta. I'll go back to the remote desktop site and when the install is done, you will be asked what name you want to give this computer. I'll enter a name. You can name it whatever you want. Then enter a pin number as a password and click start. Wait a little while and you will see that your remote desktop connection is now online. You can now go to another computer, log into Chrome and access your Chrome OS Linux installation. Let me now show you what you see when doing that. Before you log in through another PC, you have to make sure that at the very least, a Linux application has been opened on the Chromebook. If not, you won't be able to log in through remote desktop. This is because when you log into your Chromebook from a fresh login, the Linux container is not running. It starts running when you open up a Linux application, which is why an app takes a little longer to load when you do this. I just open up the terminal to get this going. You can close it afterwards. The Linux container will still run in the background after the first opened app. Now get out another computer with a Chrome web browser and visit remotedesktop.google.com. Log into your Google account if you're asked to. You should see your Chromebook listed with a name you gave it. I see mine listed here. To access it, I'll just click on it. I enter the pin I specified and then click the arrow. Now I'm shown what session I want to select for the remote desktop environment. Just select the default one. and then a Linux desktop will show up. You can now run Linux applications you installed to your Chromebook or access any Linux files you have stored. Like I mentioned before, this won't give you access to the Chrome OS portion of your Chromebook, just Linux. So in order to keep your Chromebook accessible over the web, you have to keep some things in mind. Like I mentioned before, always make sure you open a Linux application before remotely logging in or else it won't be accessible. You will also have to prevent your Chromebook from sleeping. You can let the screen automatically turn off. Just make sure you disable sleep or remote desktop won't work. I leave sleep on when my Chromebook is not using the charger, but disable it when it is. Remote access also works when the Chromebook is locked, but if someone else logs in, you will lose access. Finally, if you get error messages because your Linux account was not added to the net dev group, just open up a terminal and type sudo gpasswd dash a your username netdev so if you use linux a lot in your chromebook i hope this tips helps you it comes in useful for me while i'm working on my desktop and need to quickly access my linux install anyway if you found this video helpful please give it a like and if you want to see more content like this subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and i'll speak to you next time